We want to turn now to Cherniv, Ukraine, a town located about 75 miles northeast of Kyiv. It was also the target of Russian forces as they tried to invade Ukraine's capital from the north. Some residential areas were hit in this recent attack, civilians in the line of fire. A woman named Yulia survived the bombing, and what you're seeing right now is her video. She is a mother of two whose life has been completely turned upside down in just a matter of weeks, and certainly in this video, a matter of moments. Yulia is joining us live this morning. Um, it is morning in Ukraine. Yulia, thank you so much. Um, you shared not only that video, but some photos with us of the explosion. Describe what you experienced as we look at these images. Uh, it was a very difficult period of that time because uh, we had air raid uh, sirens all the time, uh, non-stop, and uh, people were really exhausted because every time when you hear the siren, you need to go to the shelter or to the basement and uh, wait uh, some time. Uh, and there were uh, bombing, shooting all the time, and uh, we went uh, uh, down and up all the time. But uh, then uh we were so exhausted uh, that we came to our flat uh, and we wanted to eat a little bit we stood around their bowl of soup which uh, which was cold because we didn't have electricity we didn't have gas we didn't have uh water and uh, uh, we just stood around uh, the bowl uh, and we ate uh, soup with our hands. Uh, of course, uh, hands were dirty. Uh, and uh, uh, in fact, it was quiet. We didn't hear any uh, planes, uh, any jets, uh, anything. And we just uh, relaxed a little bit, uh, just even forgot about the uh, attention, mm. about the alert. Uh, and we sat uh, on the bed uh, in the flat. But then, unfortunately, I saw a message uh, on my phone that it was uh, stay on alert, uh, don't uh, don't go out. And I uh, cried, uh, shouted to my family to go uh, behind uh, the walls in the corridor. And the time we got into the corridor, we heard a very loud explosion. It was so noisy and so loud and the windows were broken and they were flying into us we were lying on the floor um closing our ears with uh with our hands uh and uh, waiting for some time and then we heard from uh our side uh, go out quickly we mm -hmm. went out and we saw that the house near us was in flame uh, and um, there was uh, an emergency service and there was a fire engine and uh, my husband um ran to that house because uh, it was his uh, parents house yeah. my uh, my parents-in-law and he ran there and there were a lot of bodies which were in blood, some people were dead, and uh, some bodies were like part of bodies. They were separate legs, separate. Wow. Oh my arms. gosh! Yes, there was uh, a body with the head, and the head was shouting uh, something unhuman. Uh, car, which you can see on the picture, is my car. It was broken by the piece of bomb. Uh, it didn't start. It doesn't move anymore. And uh, my husband uh, ran to the house uh, of his parents. Unfortunately, mother was in the shelter. Father went outside to the shop and his brother was damaged. Uh, wow. uh, he was inside, yes. Uh, the piece of bomb just uh, touched his uh, face and had a little bit, but fortunately he was alive. But uh, 47 people uh, were killed. Uh, children, just civilian people. I must uh, say that I must emphasize that that is uh, the place where just people live. That uh, the, there are block of flats. There are no military strategy points. There are just uh, mm, just people who want to live in peace, mm. and uh, uh, it it is so cruel. It is so cruel. Uh, mm. The first time we saw all those pictures, we were shocked and we didn't even react. Like uh, we were uh, motionless, and only then, in some time, we realized what what's happened. Uh, and it is very difficult to understand that you uh, lose uh, your flat, you don't have uh, uh, anything. But uh, of course, we're happy that we stayed alive because Yul some people. Yulia, don't. I.
I, I, I just, boy, hearing you recount this story and, and looking at these images, um, I don't know how you begin to process it. And you've got two little kids. How old are your kids? Uh, they are uh, 11 and 13. I, I, and, uh, how do you explain this to them? What's, what's happening? What are, they, what are they asking you? Uh, we have been uh, staying in shelter for almost uh, two weeks. And during this time, they understood everything because uh, people speak only about the war. People speak only about the news. We just uh, command uh, after each uh, bombing, uh, we just command uh, which region, which area, which district uh, from our city has been bombed. So uh, they know that uh, every time after their uh, attention alert, we call to our relatives, are you alive? Are you uh, are you safe? Uh, so they know uh, that is the reality, that is the war. But uh, I must say that they're really, um, when there was an explosion which uh, which was uh, near our house and um, uh, they were so scared they cried of course uh, yeah. they asked me whether they will stay alive or not and uh, even now when uh, the, do the, the door closes they uh, shook shake uh, every time they shiver and uh, they uh, they're scared pretty scared wow that is so much to see. Uh, your life has been turned absolutely upside down. And it is so important, Yulia, that you share your story because as we've been reporting tonight, there is a lot of disinformation out there and you're living it. You woke up today um, to another day of war and, and bodies torn apart. I, I just can't even wrap my mind around what you have witnessed with your children. Thank you for giving us some of your time. I, I'm praying for you, my heart breaks for you. Um, we really appreciate you sharing your story and this traumatic experience. Good save Ukraine, love Ukraine. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.